So today I'm taking you along on one of my favorite adventures here in the Northwoods, the local flea markets. There's one almost every day in one of our little communities and Mondays kicks off the week in St. Germain. The St. Germain Flea Market is run by the Volunteer Firefighters Association and it happens Memorial Day to Labor Day. I love coming to the flea market to look for antiques, but you can find flowers and vegetables and crafts, all kinds of special things, anything you can think of under the sun. So some of my top tips for hitting a flea market are to come early to get the first picks or come late to get the best deals. Make sure you bring a bag or a pull cart or something to help you carry all your load. Most vendors at flea markets are willing to negotiate on prices. So you can always ask, they can just say no, buy it when you see it. I've missed so many things by thinking I'll come back again around the second time and then it's gone. Make sure to check the weather ahead of time too. You're gonna wanna know if you need a raincoat, if it's gonna be chilly. You never know what you're gonna get in Wisconsin in the Northwoods. Make sure you have cash in the smaller denominations, the better, to make it easy for them to make change. Make sure you also look under the tables and all around. Lift things up, there may be something special hiding underneath something else. to show you all the finds from today. So one of the great pieces I found was this. It's a great shelf that can be hung on the wall or put on top of a dresser or counter. It can go this direction or this direction. My first thought was to use it for coffee mugs. What a fun way to have guests grab their coffee, pick a mug and make their coffee in the mornings. I did find another minnow bucket to add to my collection. I love looking at the graphics on the minnow buckets. And usually I try to find ones that aren't too rusty. I love when they still have their wooden handle. And they're so versatile for so many things within your house. The outside can be used for storage. And the inside makes great lanterns. I fell in love with this little football helmet the moment I saw it. I thought it would look so great in a little boy's room. If he's into sports, sitting on the bookshelf around his books. I love the color, especially for Wisconsin Badger fans or anybody else that has the red and white as their school colors. As a thermos collector, I'm always looking for a new thermos to add to my collection. And I found this blue one that I didn't have. I love keeping all my thermoses together. I keep them above my kitchen cabinets but I love pulling them down at different times of the year to use them seasonally. I found this one too. This one in the yellow is such a fun color. I like them in different sizes and shapes. Look how great even the yellow and blue look together. I've been interested in starting to collect this Marcrest pottery. I think it looks so great in a cabin. It has almost these little, they remind me of how I drew flowers as a little girl. Or actually how I still draw flowers <laughs> all around the outside with this little wave and I love the brown color. Beer trays are something that's so great to keep around by your bar, and I love this blue of the Pabst Blue Ribbon. Not only do I love collecting thermoses, but I love to collect jugs as well. This one is so great with its red top and blue and white outside. Another one that would be great to use all summer long. Another great tray I found. I love anything about playing games, and this one had the cars, and it says canasta, poker, bridge, different kinds of card games on it. So a super fun find to have out. I love to keep games out all the time because it invites people to stay and linger longer in your home. I might pick them out by their title, by their cover, by their color. And this one is called an old fashioned girl. And I actually couldn't even believe I found one with this awesome title and it still looks great. I've started collecting watering cans. I love their different shapes and sizes and I love the different styles of spouts they have too. 
And this one is fun because of the red on the bottom. Another way that it looks great year round to use it, even at Christmas time, you could use a watering can for decor. I love camp stools and I was able to find two today. This one folds up. So what a great one to take along on a trip. Um, some of the camp stools aren't sturdy enough to really sit on anymore, but some of them still make great chairs or for kid chairs. I have some camp stools that I keep around one of my tables for the kids to sit at and color or play games at. And this one unfolds so that it has a back. This one will go great even into the fall. If you have a sports team that's orange and white, it makes a great decor for your tailgates too. Living in a log cabin, one of the things I love to collect are syrup containers. And I was so excited to find this giant one today. So even though it's been cut to use for some purpose by someone, it'll still look amazing on my kitchen shelves. I loved this tray with its green and gold colors and the pine cones on it. I love collecting things with pine cones and especially if it's got my favorite color of green on it. A lot of things when I'm at the flea market or a vintage market or an antique shop, I'm going in looking for certain things, certain things that I collect, something that I'm wanting to use on the table or for a room I'm styling, but sometimes some things just call to me. This was one of those things. I had not been looking for a little cash register at all, but for some reason I thought this was just the cutest thing. I loved the color and it'll look cute on a bookcase on top of some books. Something I don't pass up if I can find them at a great price are Hudson Bay striped blankets. So whether they're by Hudson Bay or by Pendleton or by one of the other companies that makes these same stripes, um, if they're in great shape, then I love to pick them up. So I was excited to find one today. If you find a blanket that's not in good shape, it's still worth considering because it might be the perfect one to cut up and use to make pillows or on a bench seat. Um, they can be used for craft projects if the blanket's not in good shape. Remember how I said I love to keep playing cards and games out? Well, I found this vintage card deck um, and it says bucks on it with that buck. So what a perfect thing to add to the cabin or the hunting lodge, just sitting out on the table. I also found some really fun needlepoint items. This one is a pillowcase with a little zipper, so a pillow could go in it. You could almost even use it as a handbag or something to carry things in. Or you could um, lay it out on a table to use almost like a doily. But I love the fall colors of it. And they had a couple other pieces of unfinished needlepoint that I thought would be amazing to put into a pillow. Remember how I said some things I'm just drawn to? This is one of those things. It's just a tiny, probably little tobacco tin, um, but it's got this woven pattern on it where it looks like a little basket. And I thought this would be a really cute little piece to set on top of a stack of books or on the coffee table as well. Little fun things to add to vignettes around this different times of the year. I found this little great brass mister that looks great next to um, your plants in the house. Again, setting up those little vignettes, showing things that you love to collect. And this one's in great shape. I collect these little ceramic ducks and these mallards, um, I love to keep out on the coffee table to use in the fall. They're really cute at that time of the year. They add a little masculine touch to the cabin as well. Um, and I just love the size of them. So I have these out on the coffee table and in the fall I'll use them up on the mantle. And I never pass up a campfire marshmallow tin. They're one of my favorite things to have around in the summer to keep out by the campfire or to have out in the house. They're a perfect cabin accessory. One of the other amazing things at the flea market are the farmer's market items. All the vegetables and the gorgeous flowers. They make an instant beautiful bouquet. So that minnow bucket I got, or that watering can, I can put these right in it and then set them in the centerpiece of my table. Another book I found, I love to collect Nancy Drew and Hardy Boy books. And this one was especially great because it's the mystery of Cabin Island. So I loved the cover. I don't mind that's a little beat up because it looks well loved and well read.